breaking news welcome to today's headlines can you react as soludos offers ipob amnesty can you react as soludo offers ipob amnesty to my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from please stay tuned as a read to this news Kanunta Kanu, brother of Unamdi Kanu, leader of the indigenous people of the Afra, Hypob, has reacted to the amnesty offered to the pro Afra group by Governor Charles Soludor of Anambra State. On Monday, Soludo promised to grant Hypob members and other be Afro legitators amnesty if they lay down their arms in the state. Soludo had disclosed this shortly after a prayer session meant to end the controversial sit at home order originally imposed by IPOB. Governor Soludo had said. I have also offered amnesty to all our brothers in the various forests around us. Give us your guns and trust us to help you forge a meaningful living. Reacting to the development, Kano said, I post military harm. The Eastern Security Network. ESN was set up to defend the eastern region against some criminals. In a tweet on Tuesday, Kanu insisted that IPOB is not a criminal group that should be given amnesty. IPOB, led by Mazi Unamdi Kanu, formed ESN to defend Biafra land against Atman terrorists. Upon the rendition of MNK, Hypop called for Monday sit at home, which it has ended. Hypop supports Governor Soludo's effort to end criminality in Southeast, but Hypop are no criminals to be given amnesty, can root. Kanu Takanu, brother of Unamde Kanu, leader of the indigenous people of the Afra IPOB, has reacted to the amnesty offered to the pro Afra group by, in, by Governor Charles Soludor of Anambra State. On Monday, Soludor promised to grant IPOB members and other Biafra legislators amnesty if they let down their arms in their state. Soludo on Monday, Soludo promised to grant IPOB members and other Biafra legislators amnesty if they lay down their arms in the state. Soludo had disclosed this shortly. After a prayer session meant to end, the controversial sit at home order originally imposed by IPOB. Governor Soludo had said, I have also offered amnesty to all our brothers in the various forests around us. Give us your guns and trust us to help you forge a meaningful life, a meaningful living. Reacting to the development, Kano said, IPOP's military harm, the Eastern Security Network ESN was set up to defend the Eastern region against some criminals. In a tweet on Tuesday, Kano insisted that IPOP is not a criminal group that should be given amnesty.
hip-hop led by Mazi Unnamdikano, formed ESN to defend the Biafra land against Atman terrorists. Upon the reduction of MNK, hip-hop called for Monday Sit at home, which has ended. Hip-hop supports Governor Soludo's effort to end criminality in Southeast. But IPOP are no criminals to be given amnesty, Can wrote. Kanunta Kano, brother of Unamde Kano, leader of the indigenous people of the Afra IPOP, has reacted to the amnesty offered to the pro Afra group by Governor Charles Soludo of Anambra State. On Monday, Soludo promised to grant IPOP members and other Biafra agitators amnesty if they lay down their hands in the state. Soludo had disclosed this shortly after a prayer session meant to end the controversial sit at home order originally imposed by IPOP. Governor Soludo had said, I have also offered amnesty to all our brothers in the various forests around us. Give us your guns and trust us to help you forge a meaningful living. Reacting to the development, Kano said, IPOP's military arm, the Eastern Security Network ESN was set up to defend the Eastern region against some criminals. In a tweet on Tuesday, Kanu insisted that IPOP is not a criminal group that should be given amnesty. IPOP led by Mmaze Unamde Kanu formed ESN to defend Biafra land against Atman terrorists upon the reddition of MNK. IPOP called for Monday Sit Atom, which it has ended. So my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.